Hey, how's it going guys? It's Ex Machina here again with another breakdown video from the Sunshine Suicides album. This is the third track on the album called Whispers. We're gonna get right into it today. We're gonna go over the elements here starting from the top. We got the kick and the bass. I use the same kick and bass in this whole entire album. I feel like I've said that many times by now, but uh, just keep in mind, I use a template, and so a lot of the sounds that I use are pretty much the same. And my philosophy is, in a band, like a rock band or something like that, you don't change out the drummer you know, or the drum set every show or every track, right? Uh, it's the same drummer, same guitar, same instruments. You might have different effects but it's almost the same uh, when it comes to the basic template or the setup of the band. And so I take that same philosophy and I produce a whole album utilizing the same instruments and the same elements just so you can give a little bit more cohesion when it comes to the different songs. Okay, so again, kick and bass is the same. We'll solo both of these here. So now on this one, you can see that I actually have the kick pushed forward two milliseconds. And the way that you can open this is this little D button. Uh, this is very handy for uh, whenever you're recording vocals and there's like a delay uh, or like a lag. Um, same thing with if you want to manually like push things on your timeline right or left a few milliseconds, it's very handy, especially when you're creating like this style of lo-fi or lo-fi in general, really. Um, it's quite nice. Okay. Now from there we have the leads. Now obviously this is the chunk of the sounds here, but um, we keep it pretty simple. We have like the lo-fi roads again. And then we have the sine wave synth. We have some guitar. So as you can hear, this is like the stretched version, even back here. It's like the effects. Actually, it might not even be stretched. It might be just the, yeah, it seems like it's just the delay. Um, so we, we're just utilizing just a little bit of that. Same thing over here. All right, and then we have the piano sound. And then all together. And then we have the strings down here. This just gives it a little bit more interesting sounds. All right. So as you can hear, the guitar started glitching right over here. So again, the biggest takeaway from the dark lo-fi glitch style is really use your sounds and then stretch them out so you can get that. It just gives you so much more to work with. Um, again, you, you don't want to make the music too predictable, um, but that's also what gives it that whole uniqueness because it's always different. The listener can't always expect what's coming next. Okay. Now you have these breaks here, obviously, to let the drums breathe. Uh, and we could probably unmute everything and hear it. All right, and then again, we have the snare as well. So there's a few layers of the snare here. And again, this is keeping that spontaneity in the whole entire track here. You know, that's super important. You don't want to bore the listener. And so you always want to keep it interesting here. And we do that with the snare. Very fun. And then we also do it with the hats as well. So you can see that we add just a bit of sound. And again, this is using super massive. Uh, it's free plugin. All right, and now the signature sound, the Ex Machina sound here, utilizing tree tone. Mm 
Very fun sounds. And if properly mixed into the track, you'll be able to really get some neat textures here without overpowering the listener. So as you can see, I have this like... Now, most of my lo-fi tracks EQ is similar to this. I have everything from below cut out and then pretty much everything up here cut out as well. Um, or round it off at least for the most part. Uh, I don't really have anything that lives in this spectrum of, for the most part, uh, whenever I'm producing this style here. Uh, I try to be as minimal, even with the hats themselves uh, are similar. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, we'll just take a look at the hats here and see how the EQ sounds on this. I might be wrong. Uh, yeah. yeah, totally wrong. But yeah, so everything above here I cut out on this particular track. But again, that's all that lives in that spectrum here, right? So we have a spectrum analyzer here. We can see hats. Even the snare doesn't take up all that space on here. But yeah, that's essentially going to be your drums there. And then also we have the signature sound. Besides that, we have the vocals uh, again. And it echoes out. And it just keeps on going, and that's what the analog collapse does, which is neat. But you could obviously adjust your settings here just to tweak it to the way that you want, but that's essentially how you get that really neat echoing sound. It's still going in the background. <laughs> All right, now besides that, we have the bird chirps. Um, you can really get that from anywhere. And I make those glitchy by using my warp trick. So I'll double it in speed, either reverse it or not, but keep it in beat warp and it'll give you these interesting textures here. And then we go for the final, which is the glitchy vinyl here. As you can see, I also did the warp trick here. I doubled it in length and then reversed it, which allows you to get the unique glitchy sound there. And all together, we have this track. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching.